Okay, Jim, the reason why I've, dra I've, I've, I've dragged you out of, of Brooklyn <laughs> and to, to Manhattan um, is because I, I'm, for a certain amount of reasons, I, anyway, I got this new phone. Yeah, um, they got my and phone. I, and I had, I previously had, well, I still have, um, my other phone. Your Moto G, is it? Yes, my Moto G, which I got uh, last year. Yeah, this is my Moto X, which I got several years ago and still works fine. Yeah. I'm sure the stuff works fine. That's my Moto G, which I, which I surely love. Yeah. I like that. Uh, but then this other phone came out. It's called, um, I don't think, think we can the see The OnePlus 3. Yeah, it's the, it's the OnePlus 3. And it's from a small manufacturer. It's not from one of the big manufacturers. Yeah, I think it's under another, another way. It's, it's a small independent company, but yeah. it's under another kind of kind of thing. Um, uh, I did a whole unpacking for this other thing. But one of the, let's start with the, one of the things that's very uh, interesting that people are talking about is, uh, here, you can hold on to that. You can, okay. take, you can take that, I don't like that plastic. No, you should take that off all this. It's, it's, people don't, but we, you should. Yeah, well, why should you? Um, because it does no good. Mm. It, do, uh, you know, it doesn't do much harm. It's not designed to do harm, but it's just there to make sure that the product that you bought is unscratched. Um, that's okay. all. It's just new. It, it does, it does, it's it's cosmetic, yeah. and that's all that it is. So, I like to well, then now just read that. You can tell. You can you can explain what that means. It's a dash. I, I don't know what that means. What that means, supposedly, what it means is Made that in <laughs> it means that it it it, it um, somehow it um, recharges quicker. Like in twenty in twenty minutes, you go from zero to sixty. In like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this that's is, you're not impressed. any modern phone now that mm -hmm. has um, uh, this is uh, micro USB. I think the second or third version. Everybody now has C. Really, no, USB C. USB -C. Now what is and what, they all do that. Now what, they what, all do that. what do I do here? Because this doesn't seem like the same port. No, like it's different. Port. Yeah, but now I need. You, you, you I need, need an adapter. I need an adapter. Okay, so ah. I need. I have to, well, let me put this back up. So what? What is better? What is there a better? Yeah, the, the new one is better. It's, uh, it's, it's the, the new goes. standard. It's not called Dash. That's just their name oh, okay. for what everybody else has. All the new phones that are coming out in 2016 oh, all have it. Now here's the Except thing. Uh, well, we won't talk about Apple. Well, they'll, they'll have it within months. Yeah. Just a question of when. Well, I was wondering about what I was wondering about this phone. For for one thing, I have I have I have what I what I like to call ignorant questions because I'm not uh, I'm not I'm not technologically as, uh, literate. As which is, say, which is, there is no such thing as an ignorant question. Well, for, for me, but, but you understand what I'm saying yeah. now. With this, with this, well, with this, uh, well, this uh, yeah. Now, first of all, why is this drive? Why does this have not drive? Why does this cable round? Others are flat. This, this, this has a has a has a, what, what do you call it? A, 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 a cloth. I just uh, happened. To, I bought I bought ten of these at Amazon for ten dollars. Really? So what? What's the diff? What's the big difference between all these uh, kind of things or whatever? Not nothing. Hmm. The price. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's all. I mean, uh, this one has good insulation. You don't want a thin one. You don't want, mm -hmm. want one that will break. The biggest problem with many of them is that when you have these little nibs mm -hmm. that hold on to the phone when it plugs in, those nibs can get, uh, you can see they just rise up yes. when you plug them in constantly into your phone to charge it. Uh, and by the way, this, this is an older phone, this only takes about 40 minutes to charge off of mm. a little carry-along carry battery. Mm -hmm. uh, th this one will take about 20 minutes. Yeah. It's twice yeah. as fast because it's serial. This is charging in both directions. This one is, par uh, sorry, other way around. Mine is serial. The information is going only in one direction. Mm -hmm. The new ones are parallel. It charges in both directions. Mm -hmm. it, in essence, almost triples the speed hmm. of charging, and 
rate of data flow. That's even more important if you plug your phone into a computer. It's going to be far faster copying things. But I don't tend to plug my phone into computers. Oh? Well, what, 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 why is that? Don't need to. Oh. If I need to, you know, get a file from my computer onto my phone, I tend to use an app that, uh, since this is an Android phone, is called AirDroid. What's that? Say Air, A-I-R, uh -huh. Droid. Uh -huh. So it just, I turn on my computer, I run the app, I turn, I find the app on my phone, I run it, and the two of them are talking wirelessly. So you need to plug it in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you plug your phone into your computer to charge it, mm -hmm. it's going to be slow as molasses. Right. No, no, no this, this whole air thing. Mm -hmm. uh, air droid. I mean, this is air one droid, of many but different. Is that how you also get stuff from your computer onto your phone in terms of, say, music or films? No, no. I, I keep it all in the cloud. That's all. Songs all on the internet. And they're both talking to the internet. So everything that you do, you, you, you put it into the cloud. So if, you, if, you, if you're, I don't know, if you're walking around or you're riding a bus and you want to listen to something, you're mm -hmm. just getting it straight off the cloud. You're not using any yeah. of your space. If I am in a place which cannot access either Wi-Fi or telephone, like going through a tunnel, then you want to have it local on your phone, and then you want to download it on there. But phones tend not to have that much room, and you don't really need to buy that much storage space on your phone because you've got Mac, iDrive for Apple or Mac, or anything dot Mac, uh, uh, Google gives you unlimited photo storage, so does Amazon, for free. Mm -hmm. Uh, but do you own that stuff, or can they steal your no, photos? You own, you own. Okay. Uh, well, let's talk about this thing now. This particular phone, this new phone, this um, um, OnePlus 3 version, yeah. uh, it has a 64 gigabytes of space. Yeah. And you're saying you don't even need that. Right. Really? Yeah, I, I've got 32 on here, and I think it came in a 24 or 32, and I got the 32. I've never used more than 20. Mm. Now, what, 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 now, also this phone, this new phone, also supposed... I mean, you want to see a movie? I've got Netflix. What do I need to download it for? Mm. You want to hear a song? I've got Google Play. I don't need to copy it here. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've got it all right on the phone. Here's all of mm. everything I can watch. Here's everything I can listen to. And none of it is uh, podcasts, BBC broadcasting. Mm. None of it's on the phone. It doesn't need to be. Mm. That, that's why. Now cloud what, computing. Now, this phone also bo boasts to have a uh, 6 RAM memory or some 6 gig of RAM. What, 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 what does that mean? It's the memory that any computer can process. So you have to separate storage memory, which is how much you can hold on something and call up at will. And then there's processing memory, RAM, mm. uh, just like in old computers. And that's a question of the amount of memory it can put, the amount of thinking about something. Mm. More important than that is the speed at which it can resolve questions and issues and multitask. How many different programs can you run at the same time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The more memory you have, the more programs you can run simultaneously before it starts slowing down. But I always recommend to only run the programs you need and when you're done, put them away. Mm -hmm. At least a couple of times a day, just close them all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what, what 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 are people supposed to be looking for in a in a in a new phone, updated phone? What what's the thing? Is nothing is uh, really matters anymore. What? No, no, it all matters. It matters a great deal. I am my phone is now two or three years old, mm -hmm. and um, because it was upgraded from one operating system to another, from Android uh, L, whatever that stood for. Mm -hmm. or, uh, uh, yeah, L to, to M to Marshmallow, which is the current version. When that happened, my phone's capable of doing all these new things at half the speed it used to work. 
I would rather have had the old operating system running fast mm. than the newer, more powerful operating system running slow. Mm. So you're looking, if you're going to buy a phone, be sure that we have, if you know that there's a change in operating system coming, and in Android right now there is, and Nutella, it's rumored to be called, will be on all, most phones, mm. most new phones by the end of the year. Wait, if I'm going to buy a phone now, which I am, I'm going to wait for a phone that has Nutella on it, mm. so I don't get slowed down. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I don't recommend anybody buy a phone until that's out and tested. Well, running. that's well, that's one of the issues. Not the issues. That's one of the things is that a lot of times something new comes out, then the people first coming out with it, uh, just like this thing here. You have a, you get a card there where the, the guy is saying, you know, uh, you know, give us your feedback, whatever. Hey, so basically, you're being R and D or you know, research and development for a for a company. You're a beta tester. <laughs> No, that's not necessarily always the case. They, I mean, Google has been testing N, uh, uh, and which is Android 6.0, uh, or Nutella, as it's rumored to be called, for a year already. Hmm. And they're not going to be coming out with it for... If, uh, the developers are going to get their hands on it only in about three or four months, and then they're going to start writing their applications for it. So it's not going to be ready until the fall. So it's going to have undergone two years of testing hmm. by the time it's on your phone. So the operating system will be good. But then, what are you looking for? You're looking for what happens to... Imagine the phone was a drug and that your drug goes to a dealer and that dealer waters down that drug, taking a little for themselves mm. and then sends it to another dealer and they put on their own stuff. Well, the people creating the operating system put out the operating system with its attendant built-in apps like a browser and a music player and stuff like that and an operating system that is supposed to work a certain way. Mm -hmm. Then it goes to a manufacturer and the manufacturer says, oh, you know, I'm going to make how you pull up the different apps on your phone work mm -hmm. differently. Mm -hmm. Instead of folders, we're going to use circles, we're going to do it like this, we're going to do it like that. And uh, that's called a skin. Mm -hmm. And so the manufacturer is going to put on all kinds of skins. Now it's going to get stepped on again. It's going to go to the carrier. Mm -hmm. So you're buying your phone not from the manufacturer. Most likely you're probably buying it from Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, mm -hmm. or somebody like that, Huey. Um, now this particular phone I uh, got straight from the from the from the manuf where I say there was a pop up store. I had missed the dates. I just went to the store and said, "Hey, like I want to talk to these people." And they just ha happened to have a couple of phones left, and so I basically bought a phone from that was left over pre release. Pre release. Exactly. This phone technically has not, not been, been released. Exactly. Yet. And, and then they used to have a different modeling scheme for this thing where you had to be invited in to buy the phone or whatever have you. So anyway, I lucked out that particular day since I'm going back to South Africa. I guess it's, it's good for me. But what's also interesting about this phone? It has a dual SIM. Card. Now, I've seen a dual SIM in Africa, the thing called yeah. Neotel had this thing, but nobody else had it. So this is, this is only the second phone I've seen with a dual uh, there, there SIM cross There are some. There mm -hmm. are some. And this, uh, the problem with some of the phones that have the dual SIMs, and you especially find them in Europe, mm -hmm. uh, is that, and, and absolutely in Japan, is that those skins I was talking about, I don't like a manufacturer mucking about with my operating system. Mm. I don't like what they do. And, and I don't know, this may be great, this may be perfect, mm. but I have, I have to take what they refer to as stock Android. Now, once upon a time, Google owned Motorola. Mm. And so when you got a phone from Motorola, yeah, they put a skin on it, but it was a skin developed by the people who designed the operating system. And so on the Moto G, the Moto X, and any phone called a Nexus, a Nexus is stock Google. Nobody has stepped on it. 
not the manufacturer, not the carrier. Mm. I, there are some phones that don't muck about too much. In my opinion, Samsung mucks about so much that I will never, ever, ever go near a Samsung phone. Mm. There was a time when they were good, and they were best thing about them is they had replaceable batteries. Mm. You could just pop the battery out and pop it in, but they don't do that anymore. Now they're not even using Android as much as they're using an operating system called Tizen, T I Z E N. Mm. And uh, you can't use Android Pay in the cab. You have to use Samsung Pay. Mm. When you want to buy a song, you go to the Samsung store. Mm. As long as I have opted in to the Google ecosystem, I will stick with that just as somebody who has their iPhone mm. uses the Walled Garden or the Apple ecosystem, although they're probably also using Google Apps. Mm-hmm. And that for me is, you know, everybody's using Gmail, everybody's using Google Maps. There is nothing better than those, even on an Apple phone, even on an iPhone. Mm-hmm. So I figure, okay, you've got me by the short hairs, I will go with Google. Mm-hmm. And I will stay with that. And so what I'm looking for in a phone is one that is as close to the original that has been put out by the manufacturer as can be done. Mm. And I've only been burned a few times, mm. but oh, that's basically to look more. Okay, thanks for that.